everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore, and you are going to love this technique. Um, I've seen this on YouTube, how to do it, but I've only seen it done with Distress Inks. So I wanted to try it with our Stampin' Up! ink, and it works beautifully. So this is the ink smooching technique. This is done on watercolor paper. You can see it gives it a different look. And this is just done on our Thick Whisper White. But look how cute. I love this and I was having a ball with this. So I'm using the Life is a Beautiful Thing stamp set um, stamp, which is from this Ribbon of Courage. Now you've seen me use this. I used this in my last card um, I posted last week. It's sending love and hugs to you. And I do love the writing on here. I have another card I'll be sharing this week that uses this with faith, all things are possible. It is, I love this. Look at, look at the sentiments and stuff on it. So, so I'm using this and I embossed it in our gold emboss. And you can see the difference too in, on the watercolor paper and on the Whisper White Thick. So this one is done in our Stampin' Up! New In Colors, Berry Burst, Lemon Lime Twist, and um, Tranquil Tide. And then this one's done in Melon Mambo, Bermuda Bay, and Daffodil Delight. We're going to do this one with the New In Colors, but we're going to do it on the Whisper White so you can see the difference on how it works but you're gonna have so much fun with this technique it, it's really fun so let's get started you are going to need a thick whisper white card base which is five and a half by four and a quarter our normal card base and then you are going to need a piece of the lemon lime twist this is the bottom mat piece which is five and a quarter by four and an eighth and then you're going to need a piece of, this is Berry Burst, and this is 5x4. And then this piece is the piece we'll be stamping on, and it's Whisper White, and it's the thick Whisper White, and it's 4 and 3 quarters by 3, uh, three and 3 quarters. So that is all we're going to need. We'll scoot this all out of the way. You're going to also need a piece of um, window sheet. So that's what I'm using for... Um, the smooching. So let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment first. We're going to stamp it with some Versamark. I need to get my little um, embossing buddy here. This is so that you don't get embossing powder where you don't want it. And then we're going to stamp the verse, the uh, sentiment with the Versamark. It's been a long day. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to stamp it right down here. And then I'm going to get my gold emboss. So I keep my jar in there so I don't lose the jar, not the jar, but <laughs> the refill. And then we're going to heat set that with our heat tool. And I will speed it up so I don't have to listen to the gun going. Okay, so we have our sentiment embossed. Isn't that pretty? All right, so here's the fun part. All right, so what you're going to do is I'm going to start off with the lemon lime twist. So you, I'm just going to take my pad and my window sheet, and I'm just going to put a little bit of ink. Draw it straight from my pad there. You'll need a little bottle of water, and you're going to spray this really wet until you can see the ink running. Then you're going to just flip it over and look at this. How fun is that? You're going to need to have a piece of um, like paper towel or something. Don't, don't move it around too, I mean don't use it, worry about where it's going. 
and then I'll just the puddled areas I'll just pick up and just that leave it like that and then we'll wipe this and we're going to do the same with the berry burst and if you get too much on there just wipe it off with your paper towel we don't need that much on there and then again spray it really good flip it over and let it do its thing you want to move this the acetate around a little bit so you get us you can drag it and everything because it's really wet and then I'm just gonna pick up the puddled areas and we're gonna wipe that one off and then we're gonna grab the tranquil tranquil tide We're going to spray this one. And the thing about this, I'm going to put this one over here. Oh, I guess that's fine whenever if you get it over, but if you don't want it there, you can easily just pick up the puddle. But I just like to just let it go where it wants to go. Even over your sentiment like that. This part I'm gonna but look at that. Look how pretty. It even makes like a purple there. So now if you want to add anything to it, if you want to add a little bit more to it, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more here. I'm gonna use some more I think I'm gonna use some more lemon lime twist and kinda not a bunch but I'm gonna kinda dredge see if I could drag it up this way yeah just like that and just let it go you can press down on it and just do whatever but there we go I like that so then just pick it up and you're, you are gonna have to let this dry a couple minutes before you're ready to put it on your card I am so impatient but look how pretty and it's so fun and look at how cute it looks I really love 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 this technique and I wasn't sure you can do it with um, our dye inks um, the regular Stampin Up inks but it works and so I'm gonna grab my heat tool really quick and speed up the drying on this and then we'll put it together okay so I think I have it pretty dry but look at how cute is that not pretty I just love it I don't know let me know what y'all think so let's get the card base out we are going to put on our lemon lime twist first I'm going to use my fast fuse look. don't try to rush it when I try to rush it, I forgot to do my little check mark. So we're going to put this one first. I want to make sure I got it all even. And then we'll lay down our berry burst mat. And you do really need a strong adhesive to um, hold this down the piece that we watercolored alright now we're gonna put this piece on And that is it. I didn't. I, I thought about putting some of our little white enamel accents on it and stuff, but I thought I loved it just like it was, and I didn't want to take away from how beautiful the sentiment is. 
So that is it. I'm going to show you again. Here is the other one with the watercolor paper. So can you see the difference? Um, you're going to get a different look all the time. I'm not talking about that area, but the difference in the watercolor paper and the Whisper White Thick. So let me know which one you think looks nicer. And then here's the one with the watermelon one, or the Melon Mambo, the Bermuda Bay, and the Daffodil Delight. So I think these are so pretty and so much fun to do. So I hope you try your hand at it. And if you need any supplies, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and shop right from my blog. I hope you all have a beautiful day, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.